Oh, hello, and this is the first video on channel two. So just to talk it through, this is a more of a relaxed atmosphere in that uh, my first channel is Mike Downs. The one that you're watching on now is Mike Downs 2, and for the more experimental stuff will be Mike Downs 3. And Mike Downs 2, by the way, is like behind the scenes stuff. So let's get cracking with something. Now, this is quite an incredible thing, and I'm just going to talk you through the way I used OBS Studio, which was... OBS Studio 015.2 and I've got 10 slides loaded here and I'm going to show you how I actually did the last video. So what I actually did, and please pay attention to the right hand side here which is black and that is the live area that is either live streaming to YouTube or Twitch or anywhere else or it is recording to your hard drive. So it, when I started off and on the left hand side is the slide I'm ready to go with. So what I can start to do, say, well, I'm not going to do it right now, but if I hit start recording, it starts. And I, I can say something like, oh, hello, it's Mike Downs and welcome to the channel. And you can see the way I've transitioned through. Now, while I'm talking or saying something like, you know, hello, you know, Mike Downs, welcome to the channel or blah, -de blah, -de blah, I can do this. Watch on the left hand side here. I will turn on the second slide and turn off the first slide. And you can see the second slide is now queued up. Then when I'm ready to start talking about, say, the second slide or the second topic, I can hit transition. You'll also notice in the center here that I've changed this transition to one second, in other words, a thousand milliseconds, because I feel that's a, a nicer time. So as I'm talking through and I'm hopefully, you know, as a former teacher, call it what you want, I can like think about what I want to say rather than just read a script. And then I can go through, let me just talk them through. So here I am talking, watch, I've found that I can turn on, turn off, transition. And that's what you're doing, look. Notice also on the slides that I've loaded, which are still slides, there's no video clips there, but I could easily add video clips. And then again, look, I will turn on, turn off, transition. Turn on, turn off, transition. Turn on turn off, transition. And then when I finished up, and for an example, if you wanted to go back to one, if I wanted to go straight back to, say, the, um, there we go, the top slide, I can reverse them and go straight back again. And then, of course, when I finished, I went down and I said, okay, I want to queue up the, um, which one was it? Now I'm Remember, these are reading from the top down. So the reason I've got the black side up here is because um, I've not turned that off. So for an example, and I don't want that one, I want, say, that one, subscribe for updates, and then I can click through. There's a nice smooth transition through. And then for the last one to go out of the video, I can turn that one on and transition. Now, if I wanted to fade to black at the very, very end, all I have to do is turn it off and then fade to black. So that was how I set up a one take video rather than going to my post editor, offline editor, which is Sony Vegas 13 Platinum. And I loaded the whole thing in OBS and notice I've used one scene on the left hand side and I've used 10 sources as slides. And then I found that it's worked pretty okay for me and I hope you think so too. So this once again is me finishing now and remember, subscribe for updates on any of those three channels if you wish to.